Hey there, welcome to Healthy TV episode number 36. And on this episode, I am continuing my conversation around sciatica and back pain. Um, because I just received a ton of questions after last week. Uh, thank you all for who, uh, for those of you who had submitted questions and uh, sent me uh, private messages, uh, you know, comments, uh, feedback about the video itself and the exercises. Um, I know that those can help a lot of people. So if you haven't checked out that episode, uh, then definitely go uh, back. You know, and I'll include it in the uh, comment section above, um, so that you can just follow the link there. And what I, based on all the questions, I thought, you know, what this is going to take a bit of time and. Uh, better than dealing with it verbally in a video, I thought, let's just write a, uh, a blog post. So I've actually put together what I started out to be a blog post, but now it's become a whole uh, sciatica survival guide, um, which you can access. Again, There's a, I'll put the link in the uh, comments above. And um, there you'll find, uh, actually it's a, kind of an extended uh, blog post where I try to address all the questions that I received. So if, the, if you're one that asked the question, um, that's where you're going to find the answer. And uh, if you're dealing with this problem, I think that's a, the first place to start. So just go check out that blog post because in there I address a couple of things. I, I thought I'd go through just some, some of the main points, like but the most frustrating thing that people deal with when it comes to sciatica. Um, and I think that the, the most frustrating thing actually revolves around getting answers. And certainly the people that I see, um, you know, that come through our door who are dealing with this problem, um, oftentimes they've gone through a whole variety of different, uh, you know, tactics or, or uh, they've, they've tried a variety of different things to get to the root problem and, uh, and unfortunately um, in a lot of cases they're una they've been unable to do that. So um, I think that's the, the most frustrating thing and, and what I see is that, um, you know, for a lot of people they are just dissatisfied with the answers that they're getting from their uh, primary healthcare practitioner, like their doctor or something. And, um, you know, certainly not taking anything away from uh, the quality of service that they may be receiving, um, but just seems to be the reality is that most people are not getting uh, the help that they need. Okay. Um, the other thing I go through is, um, you know, what most doctors don't know about sciatica. And I think this is a, a, a key thing, something that really, uh, you know, because this is what we specialize in, uh, the health of the spine and the nerve system, it's really something that uh, we've had to dive deep into. And so we have a particular unique perspective. Um, why it's not so hard to, uh, sorry, why it's so hard to get rid of. Um, and uh, those of you who have dealt with it, um, like I shared my story a little bit last week, um, it's been a problem for me. Um, ongoing for the last 11 years and I know firsthand just how challenging it is to uh, to get rid of the problem. Um, I'm a success story, I've managed to be able to do it and so uh, that's I, I share some of the tactics in there in that sciatica survival guide. Um, and really uh, I think the, the main thing is like what you need to do, like what's the next step, what's the best thing for you to do um, to get closer to finding an answer. Okay, so all that's in that uh, that guide. So I think it, to keep this episode really short, just go ahead, read the guide. If any more questions come up, uh, any specific things that you're looking for uh, answers for, then just send me a message uh, either through Facebook or send me an email. Um, and I'm always happy to address those one-on-one. -on -one. I'm even happy, you know what, I've been doing a, a bunch more um, uh, just uh, phone consults or Skype consults. And so if that's something that you're interested in, I'm happy to do that. They're complimentary. Uh, just set up a time and then I can let you know um, what I think would be the next best step for you. All right. So until next week, uh, have a great weekend. Check out the Sciatica Survival Guide and uh, look forward to hearing from you. Thank you.